NRX is a pioneering and focused CNS biopharma company dedicated to meeting unmet medical needs for those with suicidal depression, suicidal bipolar depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. And with me is founder and co-CEO, Jonathan Javid. And welcome, Jonathan. And um, I saw your company release news that you applied for a commissioner's national priority voucher for your ketamine products. So, to explain that, what does that mean um, for the public and what does that mean for the company? Well, it's an exciting time. Uh, we have a new FDA commissioner who's committed himself to accelerating drug approval for life-saving drugs. So he's created a new program called the Commissioner's National Priority Voucher Program for drugs that are targeted on healthcare crises in the United States. And there's probably no greater crisis right now than the epidemic of suicide, both in our servicemen and in our citizens. So in order to qualify for this new program, a company needs to be developing a drug to address a healthcare crisis where there's an unmet medical need. And today there's no drug that's approved to treat suicidal ideation, to treat suicidality. The only FDA approved treatment is electroshock therapy which, as everybody knows, is uh, far from ideal treatment. Well, sure. And it's so it, Go so ahead. in order to, to get one of these vouchers, you have to be addressing a health care crisis, to be addressing an unmet medical need, and to be doing innovative manufacturing in the United States. And one of the things we've done is taken a, a first of all, we've moved the, the ketamine manufacturer into the United States, where a lot of the ketamine and, and the drug supply is coming from offshore. But not only that, we've taken a toxic preservative out of the drug, a preservative that's been in there since the days of the Vietnam War, when a single vial of medicine used to be used for more than one patient. And there's no reason to have that toxic preservative in ketamine. Everybody said you need it to keep the drug stable, and we proved that you don't. So that, that's the basis on which we've applied for one of these vouchers. Uh, and uh, we're hoping to take advantage of the streamlined review process that Commissioner Macri has told the president and told the public about. Yeah, very interesting. Now, uh, and talk about ketamine a little bit. Why are you so excited about that? What potential does it have? Well, what we've seen in clinical trials that involve more than 1,000 people and real-world data that involves more than 180,000 people is that ketamine can resolve symptoms of depression and suicidality within a matter of hours. Now, it doesn't last all that long. The effects last for about a week. Uh, the drug is not a drug, in our view, that's really suitable for long-term use because ketamine does have side effects. It's neurotoxic, it's hallucinogenic, but it's miraculous in the sense that it's shown to cause new pathways to form in the brain. The fancy word for that is neuroplastic. It's one of the first neuroplastic drugs for treatment of this lethal condition called suicidal depression. And what we aim to do within Hope Therapeutics is to follow that up both with an oral drug that we have, uh, which we call NRX 101, which is a uh, non-addictive means of continuing that neuroplastic effect, uh, and also with transcranial magnetic stimulation, an FDA-approved treatment where you put powerful magnets outside the head. And this has been shown in study after study to resolve treatments of depression uh, and to improve neuroplasticity. Do we know how it works? Well, what we know, and this is actually work that was done in the 1980s by my brother Daniel Javit, uh, is that ketamine blocks a very specific receptor in the brain called the NMDA receptor, has nothing to do with a drug called MDMA. Uh, and that receptor in the brain uh, is closely associated both with depressive thoughts and with suicidal thoughts. And when you block that receptor, you can make those thoughts disappear in a matter of hours. Now, if you overdo it, you can cause hallucinations. Uh, there's a, a much more potent drug called angel dust, which is a first cousin to ketamine uh, that can even cause psychosis. So when you 
treat patients with NMDA drugs. You have to be careful in what you're doing, uh, but the effects can be dramatic. Uh, is this, is your treatment ketamine or is it like a, a derivative or what exactly is it? Well, the drug that we're taking for FDA right now is the first preservative free uh, ketamine. All ketamine today that's on the market has a toxic preservative benzothonium chloride in it. Uh, and if you look up the, the material data sheet on benzothonium chloride, it's not even safe to put in hand cleanser anymore. So the notion that this is in an IV drug seems absurd to us. Uh, and we're filing a citizen's petition to FDA saying there's no reason for this toxic preservative to be in there now that the drug is packaged for single patient use. So then what's next? So you've, um, what's the next part of the process with the FDA and when might you know something new and what the next step would be? Well, we've told our investors that we're hoping to have a drug approved by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And the FDA commissioner has said that once this uh, national priority voucher program gets rolling, they're going to uh, be doing the whole drug approval process in a matter of a couple of days. He said it's going to be like a tumor board. That's what he said uh, publicly, where you bring all of the specialists together in one room. So we are hopeful uh, that we'll have this drug approved. Now, ketamine, of course, is already approved as an anesthetic. Many Americans are getting it, mm. and they're getting it uh, in uh, our clinics as well as in other places. The problem is, until there's a label on ketamine that says that this drug is safe and effective for treating depression and treating suicidality, people have to pay cash for it. And... Uh, People are, are happy to do so if they can afford it, uh, but people who rely on, on health insurance for, uh, for their treatment uh, can't get access uh, to ketamine, except for veterans, where the VA is already paying for it. Okay. Well, I wish you best of luck, because uh, this would, you know, is a problem that... Um clearly needs to be solved. And um, I know we'll do updates as you go through the whole process and find out where you are and as those various approvals come through. Yeah, we, we live in a world where an American commits suicide every 11 minutes, mm. where three <laughs> Americans a second make a plan to commit suicide. Yeah, And this is one of the first treatments that's going to change that. Yeah, well, I wish you the best of luck. So thank you so much. I look forward to getting updates. Thank you. Thank you.